Okay, folks, well, here we go. The much anticipated January 6th hearing. They just called the first witness. Let me see who it is. Got the TV on here. Doing this in real time. January 6th committee presents findings in first prime time hearing. It was the officer who was first on the scene. But what's her name here? They're going to show it here in a sec. Her microphone's not working. Now she's laughing. Capitol Police officer injured on January 6th testifies. Caroline Edwards. And they just said that the Proud Boys were responsible for being the first ones to instigate the riot. That is not true. And I predicted this. I said that this would be nothing more than an attempt to keep Trump from trying to run in 2024. Because the first 15, 20 minutes, half an hour of this trial was all about Donald Trump. Not one witness was called within the first 30 minutes. Now, I understand you have to present your case, your side of the story. She got up early every day, no matter how tired she was, and she served the American people at the U.S. Capitol, their shrine to democracy. In the baking sun and the freezing snow. Literal blood, sweat, and tears were shed that day. She's a proud granddaughter of a Marine. You go, sister. Oh, 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 okay. The memories, the memories. A true American hero. I don't know if you can hear this in the background. I'm trying not to have it up too loud for the sake of copyright, but I'm kind of relaying to you what's going on in real time. I am my grandfather's granddaughter. Yeah. No crap, lady. They dare to question her loyalty. Her duty. She's a proud American. Who sacrificed everything. Well, I sacrifice everything every day, lady. To put up with people like you. Oh, and this guy who opened, <clears throat> sorry, he was eating some ice cream, so you know, it gets when you, uh, your throat gets when you eat ice cream, you know, you kind of get phlegm in your throat and stuff, you can't talk. So they have some black cat from Mississippi who opens the thing, and he's talking about slavery. I don't remember one slave owner being present on January 6th at the Capitol building, do you? Okay, so you had a guy carrying a Confederate battle flag. Was he a slave owner? Somebody needs to investigate that. We need to find out if this guy he has an illegal slavering going on uh, wherever he lives because he owns a Confederate battle flag. I said before, I will trust that guy over anybody in Washington, D.C., anybody overseeing this hearing uh, any day of the week. And now, who's this cat? Oh, documentarian. Yes, this is that Nick Kustad guy. I, I did a video earlier today talking about him. He documented the crowds that were breaking into the Capitol. But he's British, didn't you know? And of course, they're pinning this on the Proud Boys. <clears throat> A little too much ice cream. <laughs> this is so much fun doing these YouTube videos. I literally, I, because I don't, I, I don't have a good place to put the camera right now. I'm literally turning back and forth between the TV and the camera here to talk to you. So, they have a hundred thousand pages, by the way, hundred thousand pages of documentation here. A hundred thousand pages on what happened on January 6th. But we still don't know what happened with the BLM riots. 
Why is there no investigation on that one? It's energized. It was an energized, energized insurrection. And the evidence, the uh, this is so funny. They open up with these clips, regurgitated clips of what they had before, of some guy saying, oh, it was all BS. In a court of law, that would have been thrown out immediately. That's not evidence. That's just some guy stating his opinion. Enrique Terrio, who isn't a white supremacist. He's Cuban-American. You cats in D.C. know nothing about what happened on January 6th. Well, actually you do because you ran on it. And don't deny that you weren't. Everybody knows that you were. This is all a ruse, folks. It's all a ruse. Don't buy any of this. You know what this shows? This shows desperation. I, I really don't understand this. Okay, Biden's in office. You are in control of the government right now. Your man's in charge on the Democrat side. I'm an independent voter, by the way, so I can laugh at both parties. And I think you're both full of crap. So why do you feel the need to have this hearing if your guy's in office? Oh, my Wi-Fi is going on the, on the video here. So bear with me here as it flashes. We have issues with the Wi-Fi here all the time. <clears throat> Take another bite of my ice cream. On December 30th, 2020, this individual sent Tario a blah, 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 blah. No, that's just not fair. You didn't leave it on the screen long enough for us to read it. Uh, CNN. Stephen Rhodes of the Oath Keepers. Marcus Childress, committee investigator. Stephen Rhodes is white and Marcus Chidius, whatever his name is, he's black. Oh, they mentioned Civil War. Civil War. This was this was equivalent to the Civil War. Yeah, people taking selfies at the Capitol building is equivalent to the Civil War. La, 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 la. Folks, it's all BS. It's all BS. Don't buy into this. <laughs> They're showing these clips that look staged. <laughs> like these video clips or freeze frames. Oh, that is the worst prop job I've ever seen. You know that's what they're doing here. Taking all these pictures of uh, these scenes of like uh, caches of ammo or whatever, guns. All part of the Oath Keepers and the Proud Boys. But if these idiots at CNN and ABC, NBC would do their research, they find out that the, street, uh, the Proud Boys, pardon me, the Proud Boys are a group that like, uh, they like to street fight. That's what they like to do. Make no mistake, we did this. That's Enrique Tario. You know what's missing from this testimony, right? Or what's missing in this hearing right now? The footage of these police officers removing these barricades and letting people in, queuing them in to get into the Capitol building. That's what's missing. So they're giving somewhat of a timeline in the map here at the Capitol. There it is. The shrine to democracy, folks. Oh, they're showing clips. Yeah, they're taking down the barricades. Aerial view. By 2 o'clock, riders had reached the doors on the west end of the building. Oh, someone's breaking a window. That's that famous footage of somebody breaking one of the Capitol building windows. (laughs) 
It's so much fun to watch this again. It really is. <laughs> what you guys did is you, those of you who love this country, you went to D.C. and you shook things up. And the people who started the violence weren't people who supported Trump, weren't true blue Americans. We know who they are. They were BLM and Antifa supporters and agitators who did the same thing they did at other Trump rallies. Seditious conspiracy now. They're being charged with seditious conspiracy. I don't even think these people in D.C. know what sedition is. And you know what I think? I'm calling right now for all of these cats in Washington, D.C., who are at this hearing for every single one of them to be fired because they just violated Donald Trump's rights. And I didn't vote for Donald Trump, but they violated his rights. You want to know why? Because they are putting him on trial, and he isn't even there. They have nothing, absolutely nothing. They have egg on their face is what they have. Egg on their face. And this documentarian just happened to be there for January 6th. Just like CNN just happening to be there uh, uh, when Roger Stone got arrested. So somehow the Proud Boys are connected to Donald Trump. And anybody who voted for Trump, any true blue American, you are related somehow to slave owners. But keep in mind, there's only one person who died that day, and that was Ashley Babbitt. <clears throat> and uh, you had officers that committed suicide. You may have had some injuries, but there's only one person who died that day. Folks, I'm telling you, there's nothing here. There is absolutely nothing here that we don't know of already. This is the biggest waste of airtime I've ever seen. But it makes great fodder for YouTube. And this thing is so boring. It is so boring. So I'm going to leave it there for the video for tonight, folks. I just thought I'd do this in real time, a quick video, kind of give you a taste of what's going on with this hearing. I'm going to go uh, back to enjoying my ice cream here. So you like the video, you know what to do. You can also catch me at Instagram, hashtag Jason Composes. Follow me at Twitter, Culture Confederacy at Twitter. Culture Confederacy saying, peace out, stay safe, everybody. God bless this great country. I'll catch you next time. And let's do our best to preserve this thing we call the United States, our way of life as Americans, great art, great music. That's what we do on the channel. See you next week.